Good morning. So today we talk about Scorpio and transport or lifestyle. Okay. Now, Scorpio is a very extreme character. They are either totally ascetic, which means they they live with the bare minimum because they are minimalist at heart, or they go all the way and get the works. So what does that mean in terms of lifestyle? So in terms of lifestyle, they they can be very monastic kind of living. You know, a little cottage up somewhere in some mountain, sparsely furnished. They're happy with that also. But on the other hand, they can also be equally happy, if not more, living in a castle, owning a castle, living the grand lifestyle. They can fit in both worlds. Okay. Now, you talk about、uh, transportation, their daily living. They they are happy to be eating bread and eggs. You know, happy. Be eating bread and eggs every day, every meal, but、uh, they are also very comfortable and very happy dining out at five-star restaurants. Okay, so in terms of like transportation, similarly,、um, it's about lifestyle, ma. Right? It's about, in a way, it's about status. It's like、um, if I sit around in a big car, then good, happy. But if you tell me I have to sit on a little kapkia, a little a little motorbike that's just 125 cc getting me around. I can do that too. Yeah. So that's a very Scorpio thinking. Now,、um, obviously, Scorpios like the red carpet, which I mentioned before. They also do not like long queues because, again, it's about lifestyle.、Um, normal people will join the queue.、Uh, Scorpio people expect the the the, the queue to just part ways like the Red Sea and let them get to the front of the queue. They like privilege. Okay. So, however, this can be、uh, this copionic trait can be changed or altered if you are a DO profile or a DR profile or a DW profile. Okay, because、um, the DO, DR, DWs, right? They are a bit more conservative when it comes to spending money, yeah, resources. They they are likely to hoard, but they are not likely to spend, right? Now, so in terms of buying a bike, right? A person with this kind of profile will probably buy a small little kapkia or a average zone、uh, type of model of bike and be happy to move around with that, believing that it's just to provide transport. But、um, if they don't have this DOD RDW profile, right, then the scope is most likely to go for the biggest car. It's about status. It's about power. Now. Status, power, and authority are different things, so do not confuse yourself. Yeah, authority comes with、um, uh, what do you call that? Authority is usually you're in a position of power, right? For example, the CEO will definitely have more authority than the receptionist, correct? So, the the Scorpio personality is someone who, if you ask them to choose between being the office boy. Versus being the CEO, obviously they see themselves as the CEO. Obviously, and they, even if they're not the CEO today, they will aspire to be the CEO. Having said that,、um, title alone does not come with authority. Does not come with、um, status or anything. It's just a title, job title only, ma. So a Scorpio would not. If you ask them to choose between money, which is basically power and authority, versus status or title, they will choose money because they understand that money opens doors, which is very true. Money invites opportunities. Your job title does not, because you talk about job title. I think、uh, managers and directors today are very common, especially when you hit a certain age. Ah,、uh, then you find that the, all your friends are either directors or manage or senior managers, right? So. Titles in itself has not much influence on a scorp.、Um, okay, like like for me, I'm a Scorpio, right? So a lot of my friends are、uh, directors of one company, two company, three companies, or they're directors of sales in 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 hospitality trade, or they're director, senior director of this and that. You know, I even have CEOs and chairmen as my friends, but、um, it doesn't do much in terms of、uh, making me go, "Ooh, you're a chairman." It, it doesn't do much for me.、Uh, for me, it's about the the person. What kind of a person are you? To be honest,、um, I mean, I'm already in my fifties, right? 
So obviously I have a big circle of friends. To be honest, most of my friends, I don't know what job they're doing. But um, of course, when you first meet them, they will tell you, oh, I'm in sales, I'm a director, or I'm in this line and that line, I'm, I hold this title, that title. But it, it goes in, it doesn't register, it just goes in one year and goes right out the other for me. I'm a very typical scope in the sense that um, your title has no bearing whatsoever on our interaction. Okay? How much money you make, the scope doesn't care. It's about, there are two types of scope. Lah. One is the type that says, I care about how much money you make because uh, I want to make that money mine. Yeah? Another type is the type where it says, I don't care. I care more about the quality of your soul. So it depends on what type of scope you're talking about. So the scorpion person is someone who is all about lifestyle. Lifestyle isn't just about material things you have or whether you fly business class or economy class or first class. Yeah, sure. I mean, I would love to fly first class for, for once, for at least once in my life, you know. But um, again, being in a situation where when I look at the, the flight cost and I go, wow, an economy flight is going to cost me only $1,000, whereas a first class or business class ticket, business class ticket can set me back by almost $7,000. Nee. I'll save the 6000 and do something else with it, you know. But there are people, some personality types, which will go, ah, let's just go anyway. Eh? So they are the type where they have, um, that type of personality would be a Scorpio who would have, say, uh, a rock wealth profile or a friend profile because they are not very careful money managers. So what you want to do is that when you're learning astrology, whether it's Western or whether it's Parsi, right? You, you take the core personality and then you layer it with your profiles and your structures. Then you have a very clear understanding of what kind of person this person is. So in the meantime, today we are talking about uh, Scorpio and lifestyle, Scorpio and how they think, Scorpio and transport. Okay? Um, another example of extremity or rather extreme behavior is that, I mean, I live in this neighborhood. Of course, bicycles are very popular here. Yeah. So when we first moved in, almost every neighbor had a bicycle. I had five bicycles. <laughs> yeah, uh, one bicycle for different functions, one for going to the wet market, so it's very broken down and a lot, lot. It's okay, it's okay, we get stolen, that kind of thing. The other one is a foldable bicycle because, well, I may want to bring it on the MRT. Then the other one is a racing kind of a bicycle. So you get where I'm going with this, yeah? We are very extreme. We, we either want nothing or everything. So, of course, with age, you will alter your, your the, the way you express your extremism. La. And then, uh, yeah. So, yesterday, we were talking about Scorpio and cellular health, yeah? So, with Scorpio, right, cellular health basically means, uh, it can also mean muscle entrophy, yeah? Especially if you are in the senior age group. Because seniors tend to lose muscle because they for one thing it's a lifestyle diet thing for another thing is they don't exercise they don't build they don't do muscle resistance exercises especially walking alone is not going to do much for you in that area because walking is a cardio exercise when you're older your muscles will will degenerate right deteriorate rather so when they deteriorate you you need protein you need protein and you need exercise to keep the body going you cannot take protein with no exercise. Your muscles will just degenerate anyway. So that is an extremely important um, uh, thing to note for, for all Scorpios. Lah. Not just for Scorpios, but for all, all, all signs. Yeah? But especially for Scorpios. So therefore, you need to make sure that your cellular health is taken care of. So the first thing you need to do is to you watch your diet. Remove all the processed foods and all that stuff, of course. But make sure that you have one gram of protein for every kilo of body weight. So if you have 50 kilos today, you need 50 grams of protein per day. But understand that your body can only process 25 grams of protein per time, max. So it's not like you eat one meal, you sit down, you, you whack the, the full 50 grams in one meal. The body cannot absorb. Okay? So you want to pace yourself out, watch out for it because your, your cellular health will affect your lifestyle okay now i know of scorpios who they like to be whisked around in, in fancy cars and all that right 
Yeah, sure. They, they still can whisk around in fancy cars, but they are sickly. They are wheelchair bound. Why? Because your cellular health, or even just your health state, like you don't talk cellular health, your health state is going to impact your lifestyle for sure. Okay, so in this spectrum, right, you actually see the, the Scorpio manifesting their, their, their natural stuff uh, very clearly. One is they do move around in, in fancy cars. Two is that they their muscle entropy or muscle related problems. When I say muscle, I'm not talking about bodybuilding muscle. I'm talking about, you know, the, the ability for your hand, your brain to control your hand, to raise your hand up, give the middle finger, that kind of thing. All that is muscles, okay? Your your new your your wiring and your muscles working together. So these are things that Scorpios need to be careful about. Scorpios tend to smoke because they play with fire. So when they play with fire, the brain cells also get a bit fried because uh, ba- basically um, you uh, when you smoke, all that nicotine goes into your brain itself, right? When we take antioxidants, right? It rarely they rarely pierce through the brain barrier and repair the damage done so if you're a smoker regardless of you or not then you want to be taking in this supplement called astaxanthin okay hey morning jade so when you have astaxanthin it pierces through the the brain barrier and um, then it will start to take out all the negative stuff okay now, uh, Scorpios play with fire, meaning literally and metaphorically. So literally means they smoke or they are firemen or they are the ones that go into a dangerous situation and rescue you. So again, it's very lifestyle. They want to be the hero or the heroine, you know. Their, their compelling reason is not so much the case of, oh, I want people to glorify me and make me the hero. No, it's, it's a case of self-sacrifice. Because Scorpio is also represented by the Scorpion. And they will rather sting themselves than to attack you. They will attack you only if left with no choice. Okay, so a Scorpio is a sign of self-sacrifice. So again, people people are like, so yesterday I went out with a girlfriend and we were discussing this and you know we were talking about how people are so afraid of Scorpios. But actually it's it's very sad because it's not the Scorpio you should be afraid of. There are other signs that are more complicated. Uh, and they try to hide it and the more you try to hide it the more tricky it gets yeah so Scorpio is not the sign to be afraid of all right I've said this before Virgo Libra and Scorpio were once one sign but having said that um, for example Gemini Gemini is the Gemini male is a, a, a what do you call it split personality the Gemini female is a multiple personality so how do you tell who you're relating to at any one point? Correct or not? That's even more tricky. But at least with Scorpio, you know that what you see is what you get. Okay? What you sense, what you what you can tell from the person's aura, that is what you get. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh. So is Scorpio the sign to worry about? No. Okay? So with that, I bid you a good day. And then tomorrow, we'll talk about something else. Bye, guys.